Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. Just a quick blogish video for today. You know, I've been doing the streaming thing, and uh, very often when I stream, uh, at least lately, people are like, Hey, Crip, why you no play hardcore? I'm like, oh man, hardcore is just too much for me. I just can't take it anymore, man. It's just too challenging. Now, in all seriousness, like, you know, we, we beat the Avalon Inferno on hardcore. There's really not much else to do over there. Um, but I have been thinking, because all in all, it is a little bit more exciting to play hardcore, and I understand it's a little bit more exciting to watch someone else play hardcore. So, um, I've been thinking of doing uh, full game run-throughs. Um, I think uh, maybe in a couple of days I'm going to take my, uh, my existing barb and I'm going to just do one game, kill every single mob that I run into, and beat every single boss all the way from the beginning of Act 1 to the end of Act 4 and kill Diablo on Hardcore Inferno. So maybe that's a little bit a little bit exciting. But um it's just you know just a notion, you know, there's there's not much endgame in the game now, but you know, there is there is fun stuff, there is exciting stuff that you can come up with on your own. Uh, right now I've been just leveling uh, all the classes on softcore just to experiment with them and uh, each time I do that I get to 60 I get a little bit of gear I usually like to go glass cannon because you know it's not really something I can do on hardcore so it's something you know I like to experience as well and uh, I have been doing that I've, um, I've beat most of Inferno on the Witch Doctor and I beat all of Inferno on my Wizard with like you know 22k life no resists no armor so it's pretty pretty uh, interesting for me and uh, you know probably finish that up with a monk maybe a demon hunter as well and then I'll get to uh, doing the hardcore thing. I also have a few things planned. I, I want to do, um, I want to do like leveling competitions on hardcore. And you don't have like outside help or outside gear, you know, stuff like that. Make make it a little bit interesting. Um, and I'm also trying. We'll see. Uh, trying for all achievements in Diablo three. Um, you know, going for all achievements is one of those things where you know you you sometimes push your sanity to the limit of how much you actually uh, want to play video games. So that may or may not happen, but um, based on the feedback uh, from you guys and from Blizzard based on um, the video that I made about Endgame, uh, I think I think we'll see uh, good things come out of it. We'll see Diablo 3 improve for the better in the coming weeks. Uh, hopefully not the coming months, but you know, sometimes this stuff's a little more complicated, it takes a little bit more time. So, that's what the future brings. Should have a little bit more fun in Diablo 3. If you guys haven't tried Diablo 3 yet, I highly recommend it. It's a very good game to um, to play at least for several weeks a month. Um, and if you're, if you're the hardcore gamer that enjoys Endgame, uh, you may be a little bit disappointed, but, you know, I think, uh, I think they're sincerely trying to uh, make it work out for everybody. Well, have some fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow.